Welcome today I am going to discuss how to convert daily data to weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly. Uh, it's very important uh, when we deal with the financial data particularly because you may have uh, three days a week, five working days, 21 working days in a month, 23, 20, 18 like that. Okay, the data I am going to use is from for New Delhi and Lahore and I'll get this data in this video using open Matthew daily data from 1950 till to date and Karachi Stock Exchange 30 index and we shall see how to locate months, weeks, how to find their averages, their standard deviations and this all this. So now we'll get data from Open Matthew uh, uh, package. You can type here uh, this question mark and then Open Matthew that will give you help. Library tidyverse. We know it's umbrella package. Okay, library tidyverse. Library XTS is for extensible time series data. Library T series library forecast which may not be needed in weather data but are may be needed in KSE 30 index data. So you see weather history location is new daily. You can uh, you can put uh, location of your choice 1950 uh, 1st January 1st and end is uh, uh, yesterday 30th November 2023. Minimum temperature, maximum temperature, mean temperature and precipitation. So let's pick it. Now it's basically getting data from uh, a web API and it has now collected this, this data. Why this red uh, line you can see basically if you put too many queries uh, in a very short while it may give you a warning that please wait for one minute. So we can wait for a couple of minutes uh, for a minute uh, uh, before that we can discuss daily data and change its column names. Now I am going to change column names for new daily and let's take its glimpse. So now you, we have 26,997 observations uh, daily data and five, uh, five variables. Let's go and see lower data as well. Okay, fine. I think it's okay. Now change the names of lower data as well and take a glimpse of lower data. It is also 26,997 days and five variables. Let's convert this data into XTS, extensible time series data. So first variable minus one date basically that that we are going to exclude order by date daily a new daily date and, and uh, if you see how many uh, observations are there to so dimension so again you see you have 20 same number of days and we have four variables now if we want to convert it into daily uh, uh, monthly or weekly mean for example if it's financial data to what is uh, basically uh, 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 mean um, uh, mean uh, uh, mean value for certain index or something so you can have weekly data though in weather data it's not something very important so now you can see average weekly uh, minimum temperature maximum temperature and so on if you want to convert it into monthly and that that may be interesting one what is mean monthly temperature in new daily uh, from 1950 till today so you have all monthly data here 887 months data with four columns you can ask it said you can you can get it quarterly quarterly may not be interesting in interested uh, data for this uh, uh, temperature but it's very interesting one for export for financial data for economics data so uh, yearly data may be of uh, great interest for uh, 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 temperature as well so how temperature is rising over years in New Delhi and Lahore we can see and okay same is the case now it's very simple I am going to do the same thing for Lahore as well and pre periodicity it means what is basically frequency of your data so it's daily from 1950 till yesterday okay Lahore weekly data same same way 
you can convert it into monthly quarterly yearly it's your choice and similarly i am going to uh, add i have i have to play a little bit with this data i you may say it's a naive approach but i want to show you how i can plot daily and uh, lahore data yearly temperature and see what's the pattern emerging monthly data plotting uh, daily data plotting may not be very interesting it because we have so many months and it will be like uh, just just uh, up and down okay lahore data uh, names heads that's okay fine we don't have any issue i am going to select date and i am only going to select minimum temperature and year and i am going to group by year i have i am adding a location uh, lahore and same i am going to do it for delhi uh, okay but these things i have already explained in my previous r101 video so i am not spending time on it uh, okay now you have uh, lahore daily temperature data minimum from 1950 51 52 because now it's a yearly data and location is new delhi and if i take its uh, tail it will be lahore uh, tail it will be lahore so you have two locations lahore and new delhi and you see uh, 2023 data some values may be missing it's not available for lahore any anyway. Now, if I plot it for uh, New Delhi and Lahore, let's see what happens. Oh, that's interesting. So now you have this Lahore. Lahore has a okay from 1980 onward. If we compare, Lahore has a very sharp upward trend. New Delhi and Lahore basically both most polluted uh, cities of the world. So, but uh, Lahore uh, temperature uh, maybe it's not correctly recorded before 1980. I don't know why it's uh, down and then now again it's going up. Basically, we have so huge constructions, roads, ring roads, underpasses, everything. So we have uh, disturbed the nature and now nature is basically taking revenge for us from us. So, uh, so my next. part of this video will be on karachi stock exchange data i'll make it at some other time so that you can have financial uh, data analysis and it it will be very similar to this one take care thank you for watching